Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Denise, this is Dear Designs, and today I'm going to show you one finished object uh, that I'm really excited about, <laughs> and two whips, um, and ramble probably quite a lot. So, um, places you can find me are all linked down below. Um, I'm not going to say that every time I do a video, but if you want to find me on Instagram, um, on Ravelry, there's groups and things for this podcast and make-alongs that we're currently doing. So, yeah, that's that. <laughs> I have had my hair cut this week. Um, so on Tuesday... Tuesday? Wednesday. I think it was Tuesday. <laughs> um, I had quite a few inches cut off because it was very, very dead at the ends. Um, and, yeah, I have coloured it today. Um, it's not really the colour that was on the box but it's still a nice colour. I've got colour on my scalp still, so excuse that. Um, and I have had like a long fringe put in that I still don't really know what I'm doing with, <laughs> um, but I'll get there in the end. Um, I just want to thank all, I want to thank all of my new subscribers for subscribing. I want to thank everyone that is a returning viewer. Um, yeah, I will show you my first fin finished object if you are part of my Instagram. I say part of my Instagram, but if you follow me on Instagram, that's what I mean. You would have seen this already, um, and I think I put it in a group on Facebook. Um, haven't put it on my personal Facebook, but I have finished Mikey's Mario jumper. Oh my goodness, I love it so much. I hope it's going to fit, so I have put a Mario badge on the front here and I have put a um, coin badge so it's a Mario coin badge on the sleeve so when he's wearing it I'm hoping this is how it's gonna look <laughs> uh, when he's wearing it he's gonna be racing along here I know this is like a finish line sort of thing um, but he's gonna be racing along to try and get the coin um, and the coin is a lot bigger than I thought it <laughs> was gonna be I don't, didn't look at dimen dimensions or anything when I bought it. Who does? Maybe just me. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so this is just sewn on. They are actually iron-on patches. Um, but obviously, because it's on acrylic, I don't want to melt the acrylic. Um, I haven't blocked it or anything. Can I actually sew... I s sewed on the patches. I was like, oh, I didn't block it. And I was going to steam block it. But then I thought to myself, does it really need blocking? It's going to go on Mikey and probably never come off again. <laughs> He's going to be obsessed with it, fingers crossed. Um, so yeah, it's a pattern out of the Simply Knitting magazine. I've left it all the way over there. Um, it is just a standard raglan uh, top-down child's jumper. Um, with this design and you can add this design to anything really. Um, I did finish the racing pattern part. Here are my floats. I know people like to see floats um, and I did mine really loose because I wanted it to be able to sort of um, not be uncomfortable for him and it hasn't cinched in at all. Um, and in the pattern it did say to change your needle size and I was like I've never had a problem with my colour work before like my yolks and things so I just carried on with it um, it was knit using 3.25 and 4mm needles um, yeah I do think that this grey is either a very very thick double knit or and Aaron <laughs> because it is a lot thicker than the rest of the yarn I don't know if you'll be able to tell um, so I'm not a hundred percent sure uh, but it's still perfectly fine uh, and I'm really happy with it and it's really it's it's even in here it hasn't really made it too thick like the gray parts too thick um, it still looks okay so maybe it's just a, a little bit of a thicker double knit. Um, there may be another one of these in my future because Ollie might want one um, but I have been having trouble trying to look for a Luigi patch 
so what I might have to do is just knit one in green, um, get a disc patch and maybe sort of a Mario generic patch or something. Um, but I really love it and I can't wait to give it to him tomorrow. His birthday is tomorrow, that's why I'm doing this video today. Um, because I'm going to be wrapping it up and giving it to him. So uh, normally um, when we give Mikey a present and it's clothes, he normally goes, oh it's clothes, <laughs> like any child. Uh, but I'm going to wrap it up in a way that the Mario part is probably sort of, when he opens it, like this maybe. Um, like just fold it up obviously a bit better than that. So we can see the Mario Kart, but I'm really, really happy with it, and yeah, I knit it very quickly. Well, I think I knit it very quickly anyway. The second thing is my V back tee by Jamie. Oh, I haven't got the front cover, I'm sure it's Jamie. haven't got the front cover because it's over by the computer. Um, anyway, it's the V-back tee. There is a fingering weight version and a double knit version. I'm not sure if there's an Aran version or not, but I am onto the short rows. So this is technically the front and this is technically the back. Um, so I'm holding it like this, obviously with this front bit a little bit higher, um, and I am doing the second lot of short rows to make the front and the back level. Uh, there is a stitch marker that I've got in here to, for me to um, know how much longer I need to, or how much I have to knit for it to be the same. Um, I've got quite a few rows left to go um, and I'm measuring it as I go so the yarn I'm using is by Wiku Yarns um, I'm probably pronouncing that really wrong but this is the uh, tag and it's in the gar Garden Party colourway and this is the light version and I didn't realise that the other one that I had, so I was alternating skeins to begin with and that was with this one and one that's already in there because I've used a whole ball already. So this is the first ball, the second ball is already in here, this is the third ball. But this ball is exactly the same as the second ball. Um, there's more white in this than there is in this. Um, so my top is probably going to fade down more into a whiter colour. Um, so at the top here there's not as much white as there will be at the bottom. You probably can see that a little bit uh, but I think it still looks okay. Uh, I'm really happy with how it's knitting up. Um, I'm using a four mil needle I think. Um, I'm knitting the size six if anyone's interested. Um, I am a between, um, it's hard to say but between a 20 and 24 um, in clothes. I can normally get away with a 22 comfortably um, and then in some bits and pieces I will need to get a 24. The problem with me is that I've got a bigger middle than I have legs or anything like that so I could probably get into um, an 18 to 20 leg, ways, leg, leg wise but as soon as it comes to my stomach um, that's the biggest part of me. I don't have big arms or anything really um, for the size of my torso um, so I do have to normally get bigger. Um, bottoms mainly um, if they're not stretchy or anything uh, but yeah so I'm really pleased with it it's coming I've got gauge and everything um, so yeah I'm just gonna keep plodding along I am going to try it on once I've got the 
um, short rows done um, or to the length I need to because I don't know whether I want to add some more length or not um, obviously I don't want it too short as I do want to wear it as a sort of one-off like not one-off like I don't want to wear it over anything if I don't have to um, like a vest top or anything I just want to wear this and then if I do want to wear it with a long sleeve top then I can because I'm not going to do long sleeves it's just going to be short um, but yeah that is my v-back tee really really happy with it and I am just plodding along in the evenings with it um, so yeah these yarns were 400 gram no 400 meters 100 grams um, and I have used a lot less than I thought I was going to <laughs> so yeah um, you may be able to hear that I'm still I'm not a hundred percent in my voice I'm not sure how it's coming across um, but I have a sore throat and I feel very not bunged up but very snotty I have taken natural flow tests they are coming out negative um, Ian's not very well at the moment I don't know whether I can't remember if I mentioned it last time but Ian's been quite ill he's on antibiotics for tonsillitis that we don't think it is tonsillitis but the um, doctor said take the tablets anyway he, they've given him a spray as well um, just to see if it helps and it has been helping so obviously there was something wrong there um, but yeah like I said I've been testing negative so fingers crossed it stays like that um, and I can get my booster booked in I was supposed to get it booked in um, in December I got a text to say can you go and have your booster um, and I was on the fence on whether to get it or not um, I'm still pretty much on the fence I think um, but then I got COVID and you can't really have the booster within 28 days of having COVID um, and I just thought to myself why don't I just go and get it then it's done it's like I've had I've had the other two um, and it one more is not gonna hurt so just get it over and done with um, so yeah that's why I'm a little bit I don't know froggy maybe I'm I'm not sure. <laughs> um, the next whip that I've got is for my Year of the Sock 2022. Uh, so if you are knitting socks or you want to knit socks, then the Knit Along is run on Instagram and it's run on Ravelry. There is um, threads in there in the group, all linked down below. Um, there is a prompt for every month of the year. Uh, and February's is tickled pink. Um, I didn't want nothing like Valentine's Day or anything like that. And I thought, oh, tickled pink because it's not really Valentine's and it can sort of be just pink, basically. Um, I'm using my August Mystery Club yarn from last year. Um, I think this was a flamingo, no, peacock photo inspiration. Um, and I have knitted a little bit on it, not very much, because I was concentrating on get, getting my kiss jumper finished. I've been knitting on my jumper while I've been here in the evening because I know that I don't really want to take that out and about with me. Um, and the socks just haven't really got much work on them. But I did a little bit um, last night and this morning, <laughs> which is not a lot. So here is my progress. I'm doing a heel flap and gusset. Um, I have done my own little design it's nothing special so I've done 12 rows of 2x2 two two rib I knit 5 rows then I don't know whether you're going to see it or not I've done sort of little hearts or oh, can you just about see there um, let me put my hand in will that make any difference probably not <laughs> I don't know whether you're going to see it um, just here so I did two um, yarn overs and knit two togethers on one row, knit one row and then in between those two I just did another knit two together yarn over to make a little 
heart that you're not even going to be able to see. <laughs> um, I'm not really that bothered, I just thought I'd do a little pattern. Um, and that was about half past twelve last night and um, I didn't mess up, which I'm pretty glad with. Uh, I was debating how long to do the cuff um, because it, or the leg because I wasn't sure whether I wanted shorty socks or long socks or I just didn't know um, so I've, man I've decided to do 12 rows in total from the actual 2x2 two two rib to the cuff so I thought oh, I'll do 12 rows um, as a heel flap and gusset gives me more length than a fish lips kiss heel so that will be fine um, the yarn has got little specks of green in it as well. I don't know how well you're going to see that sort of down here. Little specks of green. It matches my nail varnish. I've been biting my nails so bad. And this morning I thought I'd put varnish on to stop me biting them. Um, hopefully it works. <laughs> um, I used to be a nail biter when I was little. And then I got out of that habit. And I always had really nice long nails. Then I went back to being a nail biter. Um, and then I went back to having false nails. I had false nails for years. Um, I am I can do my own false nails now. Um, but I just can't be bothered. <laughs> and you, if you are a long term viewer. Obviously you would have seen me do my nails on my channel. Um, you would have seen me have long nails. Um, or acrylics and everything. Um, and now I just can't be bothered. And I'm biting them. I don't know why. And hopefully once they get to a nice length again, I can just not bite them. It's when I start biting, I can't stop. But when they're to a certain length, I don't bite them at all. So, yeah, it's a, it's fighting a losing battle. <laughs> um, so I just thought painting them will be easier. Anyway, that is my February sock. Um... And if you want to go and enter a sock, then please use the Ravelry group or the hashtag Year of the Sock 2022. Um, there is also a different hashtag, um, Year of the Sock 2022 Whips. Uh, that is for any whips that um, are you are knitting on, or you need to mention it and you show the yarn that you want to knit with. Um, I just think it will be easier to pull winners from one hashtag of finished objects as I'm just using a random number number generator and then just counting up so I'm putting the Ravelry posts and the Instagram posts together um, so say for instance last month there was 42 entries um, and I just picked a number start from the Ravelry how many are there and then I go on to Instagram and how many are there it's just the easiest way for me to do it um, so yeah anyway that's that um, I'm really liking the fit the um, hill flap I'm enjoying knitting it um, I have got a few socks already that have got hill flap and gusset um, and they're quite comfortable so I thought I will make a few more see how I get on with them and they might be my preferred method even though fish lips kiss hill is so easy and so quick and you don't have to do uh, gusset decreases um, but I can read my knitting now where before I couldn't read my knitting to where there was a decrease on the row before or there wasn't so I used to find it really really hard to or a pain to keep noting down all my rows like oh, that row was a decrease that row is not that row because it's every other um, but now I can read my knitting and I don't have to have that anyway so that's that um, that is all of the knitting that I've got. Um, I am going to start a loopy cardigan for my niece's baby. Um, and basically I want to start that once I've finished my V-back tea. <laughs> um, I don't know why, I just don't want too many things on the go. I, I don't know, at the moment I'm just like, no, I don't need all these works in progress. Um, if you... Do not know, then Caroline and Andrew have the Aria Bark podcast. I will leave her link down below, um, or I leave their link down below, should I say. And she is starting a scrappy blanket cow. Um, I'm not going to mention too much about it. Um, I'm in a group, like a chat group, 
with her and a few other lovely friends that I've made over the last couple of months. Um, and she just said, would anybody, anybody be interested in a scrappy blanket project um, cow as she has quite a few on the go? And I was like, oh, that's a really good idea because I was thinking of actually starting a scrappy blanket, a granny stripe blanket, um, because I have a lot of scraps or a lot of um, yarns that are just sitting there not doing anything I don't know what I want to do with them so I thought I might make a blanket if you want any more information then please go over to Caroline and Andrew's channel um, she will be putting up a video tomorrow which will be Sunday the 6th of February and she will be explaining in there in more detail of what the cowl is going to be I'm saying knit along. Was I saying knit along? It's a cowl. I'm thinking of doing a crochet blanket. Anyway, <laughs> um, I could do a knit blanket. I think a knit blanket would take far too long. Crochet blanket might be the one. I am knit. I am doing my cozy memory blanket as well. I haven't got any new squares on that. Um, I'm waiting to have quite a few. Um, balls in that bag before I pull it out and put some on um, so yeah please go over to the Aria Bark podcast channel like I said I'll leave it down below the link down below um, and go and check out um, the the cowl or go check out their channel they are brilliant they're so funny um, anyway um, I have some I say happy mail for me it's happy mail because I enjoy it. So I've signed up to the Bird and Blend, whoops, I'm wobbling the table, sorry. I signed up to the Bird and Blend monthly tea club. Um, I don't know how long I'm going to do it for because I have so much tea now <laughs> that it is ridiculous. <laughs> so February's, um, you get three teas. I have opened them and I've had some of the strawberry and Nutella pancake tea. Oh my goodness it was delicious uh, so yeah this month you've got the strawberry and nutella pancake um this brews in four minutes um so it's everyone's favorite chocolatey pancake topping is back sri lankan black tea cocoa nibs cocoa shells freeze freeze dried strawberries and natural flavorings and the strawberries i don't know how they get the taste into the tea Oh my goodness, it was just literally like drinking Nutella and strawberry juice. <laughs> it was so nice. Um, I'm going to try this one today, which is blueberry pancake. Um, I'm not going to swear. Oh, it's, it's maybe a little bit of a rude word, but flipping delicious sweet blueberries and blackberries on pancakes. I don't normally have fruit on pancakes other than strawberries. And that's normally with chocolate. So that don't count really, does it? <laughs> um, this is a Rubosh tea. It's got uh, Rubosh, hibiscus, freeze-dried <laughs> freeze blueberries, apple pieces, blackcurrant leaves, rose hip, elderberries, orange peel, blue cornflowers, what's that say? Mellow flowers and natural flavourings. Um, I'm not not sure about that one we'll have to try and then this one is a whole lot of love this is a brand new one i think for um like valentine's and that heart melting pink brewing rainbow candy tea apple pieces rose hip beetroot sprinkles coloring beetroot orange peel cocoa shells freeze-dried strawberries and natural flavorings and i'm really looking forward to trying that one um i know hannah from the corner of craft actually had this one while she was doing her podcast um her last podcast and she had it in her cup and it was just pink i was like oh my god i'm so glad i got that to try <laughs> um so yeah i might actually try that one today i might try both today um i've got a coffee on the go at the moment so um I am still reading my book. I haven't read it for a few days, so I haven't really got that much further through it. Um, I got to a really interesting part, but I'm finding that um, 
I'm just not having the time to sit down and read. Uh, I like to sit and read in silence um, because I get very distract. I get distracted very easily um, so if Ian's got the telly on or anything like that I can't sit and read because there's just too much going on uh, so normally it's either really early in the morning when I'm up and Ian's still in bed um, obviously Ian's been off sick for um, the last few weeks uh, he's off sick this week he wasn't well the last week or was he at work last week it was Friday night wasn't it anyway we've had a lot of sickness in this house um, so I just haven't had time to sit in silence and read there's a few podcasts that I want to actually watch today so I might do that um, and then I might sit and read for a little while even if it's for half an hour I try to read at least 50 pages um, and I think I've only got about 100 pages left oh no 100 about 150 pages left so really it shouldn't take me that long to read this and hopefully by the next time I podcast not podcast film this will be done um I did dye some yarn um when did I do that Wednesday um I'm not going to show you that in this video though I will show you it in the next video and it will be a shop update at some point um I will do a video a about the yarn that's going in the shop and I'll do an Instagram post and everything um, but I don't want to show you any of that just yet I did put like sneak peeks on Instagram um, they're gone now they were in my stories but if you see them then there's some beautiful colours um, the what I'm going to do with my dyeing is not have big massive updates like I did before um, I'm just going to be dyeing yarn as and when and for me to enjoy not as a business um, because I found that me doing it as a business was taking the fun away from it and I don't want to do that I want to dye yarn um, to really enjoy to have a bit of fun mixing up all the colors making a little bit of mess um, and just enjoying it so that's what I'm going to do and there will probably be not as many skeins of yarn in the shop all at once there is still uh, yarn in the shop there's stitch markers and badges in the shop at the moment if you are interested at all um but like i said there will be new yarn going in soon but i will let you know what and when and whatever and <laughs> um, i'm gonna go because my camera will probably cut me off very soon it will only record for half an hour i don't know why um it is what it is um like i said life update we've just not really been very well um Ian's niece actually passed her driving test the other day so that was really exciting um, the one that's pregnant <laughs> so she will not have to get on buses anymore um, or anything like that the, um, Ian did buy her a car last year the year before off of Bills um, if you have been watching us for a while um, Bills is Ian's friend that owns the garage <laughs> um, Ian's at the garage at the moment um, and he was selling a car and Ian said oh, or he was going to scrap a car there's nothing wrong with it but he just didn't want it anymore and it's not worth anything um, so he was going to scrap it and Ian said well I'll give you some money for it um, and I'll save it for Jodie um, so Ian and Ian and Jodie um, are more they've got more like a brother sister relationship type thing Jodie used to live with Ian's mum and dad um I'm not going into any detail or anything but um she used to live with Ian's mum and dad um so they have more of a brother sister relationship uh so yeah anyway that's that um I'm gonna go thank you so much for watching this video any comments leave them down below um yeah come and Join me on Instagram. I'm trying to post more and more, but we all know how that goes. But I am trying my best. <laughs> um, so, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Hope you're all well, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye.